how we can use Arduino uh, to show how a servo can run. A servo is a little electric motor uh, that we can determine what the angle is at any point. Pretty much the simplest way to explain this maybe to, to students would be to talk about a windshield, windshield wiper in a car. We can go to a set position and reverse it and go back. So I'd like to demonstrate how this works. Now at level 3-4 we wouldn't be using uh, Arduino text uh, code. We'd be basically trying to get students to use blocky code. Now Arduino has a rather nice little um, environment which I'm just going to get up here. Um, called RG block and what the students will be doing at this level is putting everything in here so just want to create a very simple circuit and later on we can get students to elaborate and make it more complicated but the object in this lesson is just to get a um, servo to move so if I now go to the control um, pin, sorry these pins here I can actually then um, there's a little block here that talks about uh, a servo. So here it go, click there, like um, scratch. I've set my servo in pin 10. I want the angle to be 0. I'll go back to control. I would like to have a little 1 second delay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to climb that whole block so far. Now, the only thing I want to change is the angle to be 180. So let's just go through this. I've got a little servo motor. Uh, the setup in the pin number 10. The angle it's set at zero. I then wait one second. And then the angle will go to 180. So it'll sweep from one, um, from position zero to position 180. We wait one second and we go back again. So the effect um, of this circuit will be the same effect as a windshield wiper in a car. It'll sweep back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Well, I've had some problems with this in the past, so let's see how we go. The next step, once we've created our, um, our block code, we'll upload to Arduino. Let's see how we go. When we do that, it asks um, to um, to actually save it. Just for convenience, I'm going to save this to the desktop. And here we go. We then save the sketch, and then we try to, um, to upload it. We had some problems in the past, so we see how we go. So we nearly have uploaded it, and now we've uploaded it. So what I'll do now is I'll just plug the servo in. As I said, it's going to be in pin number 10. Although you can't see what's going on, you'll be able to hear it. There's a motor sweeping from one position to another. There it's sweeping from one position to another. You can hear the little motor going. We've got about a one second delay between each um, iteration sweeps back and forth. Uh, maybe when students get a bit more sophisticated um, after they've got this basic understanding we could maybe um, sweep between slightly smaller angles or what we could do is only sweep 10 times. So there's lots of things we can do. Um, that's a fairly simple thing we can do with students and we can actually use the um, RG block um, environment to actually show students how to do um, Arduino coding.